Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to this tutorial on Laravel and Laravel Homestead. So I really enjoy working with Laravel and uh, Laravel actually provides two different ways for us to install Laravel onto our computer. So there are a bunch of other methods out there that are provided by third parties, but if you wanna go directly with something that was documented and installed and set up by the guys at Laravel, then you only have uh, Laravel Valet or Laravel Homestead. So those are your two options. But Laravel Valet only works on Mac. So if you're watching this on a Mac, I would definitely recommend Valet over Homestead. But if you're watching this in a Windows environment, then Homestead is kind of your only other option. So let's run through the Laravel Homestead documentation. And I'm gonna show you guys how to start setting up uh, Laravel Homestead. But I do wanna warn you guys, this is kind of a long process, so don't start this if you don't have a good two hours to spare because uh, yeah, setting everything up can take a while. But now let's get started. And I do wanna warn you guys, we're gonna be working quite a lot in the terminal. So if you are watching this and you are not familiar with working in a terminal, you need to go back and learn how to do that. And then you can come back and watch this tutorial series. So. Uh, let's run through the documentation here. And uh, I'm on Laravel or the, the Laravel Homestead page in the documentation. And let's just scroll down to the introduction. And uh, I'm, I'm not gonna read this to you, but uh, yeah, basically what's gonna happen here is we are gonna install Vagrant and uh, we're gonna set up a virtual machine. And uh, with that, we are then going to install um, uh, a pre-configured homestead package, which is exactly what Laravel wants to run on. And uh, from there, we'll be able to install Laravel into our virtual machine. It does kind of mean though, that every time we want to work with Laravel, we've got to start up this virtual machine and we've got to SSH into this virtual machine. So uh, yeah, it does mimic a server-like environment. If you're ever hosting your website, or your Laravel website on a, on a server somewhere, you're gonna learn a, a few skills or you're just gonna get used to some of those skills um, by setting up Laravel this way as well, especially if you're new to the whole SSH thing or new to working in the command line, this is a great way to practice and just get better at it. Okay, so now let's uh, scroll past all of that. And by the way, when you install uh, Vagrant and uh, Homestead on your computer, you're gonna get all of the software in your virtual box. So you're gonna get Ubuntu and Git and PHP 7.2 and all of this stuff. So that's just what's getting installed. But now let's take a look at the installation and setup. So the first step here is before we've even started learn, launching Homestead, we need to install either VirtualBox, VMware, Parallels or Hyper-V. So I'm gonna go with uh, VirtualBox and I've got that uh, page open here. So let's uh, just go ahead and download this for OS 10. And that was a fairly large file, so it took a little while to download, but now that it's downloaded, I can uh, open this and run the install. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, run this package. And uh, yeah, I'll just run through the installation process here. Uh, so let's install, put in the password for my computer. And one of the reasons why I'm actually doing this whole installation process is because I kind of knew that I was gonna get the system extension blocked. So I wanted to make sure that this was covered for anybody who's watching the video, but we need to open up security settings on Mac and actually just allow the uh, application to install. So let's just allow that and then go back over to the installation and we're gonna have to run this again. So uh, close that and just run it again. So continue, continue, install. Put in my password again and install. And this time it should be successful. Great. Okay, so now I've got uh, uh, VirtualBox on my computer and I can move on to the next step here. So after I've got VirtualBox on my computer, I need to install Vagrant. So let's go over to Vagrant's website 
And we're gonna have to just click this download button here and scroll down to the version for Mac. And yeah, of course, if you're watching this on a Windows computer, pick your correct Windows environment. Of course, this is also gonna take a couple minutes to download. And once that's done, of course, we can go ahead and open that up and run the install for that as well. So let's just uh, double click on that and let's run the install. I think this one should uh, run without any problems, so it shouldn't be blocked, but let's go ahead and hit install and see what happens. Awesome, so now I have uh, Vagrant on my computer and I guess I can just move the installation to the trash. Great, so now I've got the two things that the documentation says I need. So let's scroll a little bit further down the uh, instructions here and take a look at the next step. And this says, well, now we need to install the Vagrant box. So now that Vagrant's actually on our computer, we should be able to run some Vagrant commands from the terminal. And this is turning green just because of all the tools that I have available in iTerm. So I know that this is an actual uh, command. And I guess if I go Vagrant dash version, I can see what version of Vagrant I've just installed on my computer. So now that I know Vagrant's actually on my computer, I can run uh, this command here, which is Vagrant box add Laravel Homestead. And that is going to start adding a Laravel Homestead box to my computer. The only problem is that uh, this uh, process actually takes quite a while. So uh, I've just installed, um, VirtualBox on my computer. So I'm just gonna make sure that I respond with three for VirtualBox. And this is going to start setting everything up. Um, and yeah, uh, as I said, the only problem is that this installation process takes a really long time. So you can see here the estimated time for installation right now is uh, close to 50 minutes. I mean, it is jumping down quite rapidly, but depending on your internet connection, this could even take you two hours or more. So uh, yeah, just wait for this to finish downloading and I'll join you guys in the next video. And that is the end of the video. So if you made it this far, there's a couple things that you can do to help me. First of all, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment saying something nice, hopefully. Share this video with your friends because all of that stuff is gonna help my channel grow and I'm also feeling a little lonely, so don't forget to follow me on social media.